Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Brandi Hitt. The news at 6 starts right now. Explosive situation near a Santa Monica Jewish Center this morning. A neighborhood was evacuated after what was first thought to be a bomb but went the, off. But this all ended up turning out to be a freak accident. Kate, another minute of terror today in Japan. That country was rocked by a 7.1 magnitude aftershock from the massive March 11th earthquake. Lila Feinstein is live in the newsroom now. We are now less than two days away from a possible government shutdown. Leaders on Capitol Hill are meeting with President Obama again tonight, and they say they are going to try to hammer out a deal up until the last minute. In fact, House Speaker Boehner says that he has urged President Obama not to veto the latest temporary funding measure, which, by the way, did pass the House today. We are watching and waiting. Still to come till tonight, police hoping a reward will help bring in new clues surrounding a mysterious death. The remains of an unidentified woman were discovered at a recycling center. KTLA's Elizabeth Espinoza has details from downtown L.A. I don't even understand. I don't even no. understand why they would. They, what did they think it was going to float? Hey, they're okay. That's the good thing. Yes, Three down in West right. Hollywood. You say we could see more of that. Yes, absolutely. All right, Florida's neighbor to the north, Georgia. All eyes on Augusta. Oh gosh, I, I love the Masters. This Everybody is something does. They, you know, on you Sunday, love the Masters. Mm -hmm. sitting down on the couch, watching it all unfold. Giants and their championship right. celebration, right. but. Uh, Bonds is, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's yeah. going to make noise either way. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Right now it's not looking very good for him either. No. 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 We'll see. All right. We'll All see right. you both at 10. A lot more ahead here at 630. To veto short-term solutions. Brandy. Micah, the budget battle between Republicans and Democrats is really coming down to the last minute here. If both sides do not work out their differences soon, the nation could be looking at a government shutdown. Speaker Boehner says that he has urged President Obama not to veto the latest temporary funding measure, which, by the way, did pass the House today. Micah, back to you. It is a countdown to a shutdown in Washington tonight. Lawmakers working through the night with hopes of hammering out a budget. Good evening. I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Brandi Hitt. If you can believe it, we are now less than 24 hours from a complete government shutdown. And tonight's late night emergency White House meeting, which is the fourth in 48 hours, did not necessarily end well. In fact, President Obama told Reid and Boehner that he wants an answer early tomorrow morning on whether they're going to reach a deal. And he has postponed his trip to Indiana tomorrow so he can stay in Washington. An explosion rocked a Santa Monica neighborhood. In fact, sense of hope in a local city ravaged by allegations of government corruption. Tonight, there are five proud new members of the Bell City Council. And KTLA's Carolyn Costello is live outside Bell City. This shutdown also has many military families on edge tonight. That's because it could interrupt paychecks to military personnel. David? I tell you, most ladies would agree today was a bad hair day <laughs> with the <Yes>. wind. <laughs> it was indeed. But things change and all of a sudden you walk outside now and it's not so bad. No, and it's actually cold. clear. It's cold. Yeah. It is absolutely cold, and the temperatures are going to get incredibly cold they tonight. The bets that took place on the property were for extremely high stakes. KTLA's Don Guevara picks up the story from Fontana. There is much more news headed your way coming up fierce. Right. Monica Beresford Redsman's husband remains behind bars right here in California as the prime suspect in her murder. KTLA's Dave Meekham. The government's perjury case against baseball's all time home run king with an asterisk, Barry Bonds is now in the hands of a jury in San Francisco. On a mission, here we go, an 80s cartoon making a comeback. We've got proof the best toys don't have to be high tech. Here's Dave Malkoff with a look at your Geek Chic Weekend. <laughs> Gotta love the Thunder. What, what, I was gonna say, oh. you look you like you grew up watching that. Wasn't a Great. cartoon guy, you like the Thundercats. I love mm. the Thundercats. What about you, Bear? Duke's a hazard, um, baby. Oh, Duke's a hazard, yes. Now. But um, he may Oh, right. And, Prin and, and she, -Ra. she, -Ra. And she -Ra. See, you like yeah. She-Ra. You like well, She-Ra. Well, you don't blame him for liking She-Ra, right? Yeah. <laughs>